Hey guys, Sonic Adventure DX back. And for my return, I'm going to do a review on the Battle Fever Robo. Now, some of you may wonder why I've been gone. Well, I did put it up on my profile. Well, you see, uh, my computer was acting all screwy for some reason. And we tried everything to get our computer fixed. It was running really slow. And I tried uploading videos, but... And I couldn't. Mediacom said it was it wasn't their fault, but really it was. That's darn Mediacom. Oh well. Anyways, now this is a review on the Battle Fever Robo. Now this is a part of the Soul Chogokin series, which is a series that takes seventies and eighties these robots from other seat from like anime and tokusatsu and makes them all out of die cast metal so he's heavy he, so yeah this is actually a remake of the original Battle Fever Robo this is also the first mecha in Sentai history he, from the series Battle Fever J it wasn't until the third Sentai series is that we actually had a, had a Megazord or a mecha Okay, so let's start showing off the box. You can see Battle Japan's face right there, and you can see that there are like little holes, holes in his visor, maybe to see or maybe for him to breathe or something. The 30th anniversary insignia for Super Sentai Battle Fever Robo, the Battle Fever Robo itself, and the Soul Chogokin. And uh, some sort of Japanese writing, Toei and Bandai. Now on the side, we've got a picture of him holding his sword. Let's see right here. It says, it's a super robot from Battle Fever J. It has many kinds of offensive weapons and battle styles. For example, all the... Wait, hold on. Fever Axe, Chain Crusher, Attack Lancer... There's stick attackers, sword fever, and so on. Sorry, it's a little hard to see through either writing through this camera. Okay. It's just the same on the other... This is just the same as the other side. And here's uh, another cool picture of him pulling out uh, his sword. And that's just the same. Okay. On the back... We got more Japanese writing, Soul Chogokin, uh, uh, the stand, and its weapons, and all that. Oh, yeah. This was actually pretty expensive. Uh, on e I bought this on eBay for Buy It Now. Oh, and. Hmm. As uh, it was for fifty four dollars. Was I, the shipping was I don't know how much, but I think altogether I think I paid seventy five bucks for this guy. I mean, but hey, he's a pretty good mecha to have, and I recommend this to Sentai and Power Rangers fans, even Gundam fans. Okay, let's open him up. Just got some down for a sec. Okay. Uh, right here is like a little stuff explaining about him. This is not a comic book. It explains about it, some instructions too. Oh yeah, and some sort of thing about these other sort of mecha things. These aren't part of the Soul Chogokin series. And the original, and the first Sentai team, Go Ranger, not Battle Fever J. And Go is a, actually means five in Japan. So basically five Ranger. Okay, now we got all the weapons. The axe, 
the little sword knife things, the katana, the sheath, the knuckle things, uh, some sort of staff thing, spear, and a trident. And under it we reveal oh, the Battle Fever Robo. And, okay, move this, and this, and here he is, the Battle Fever Robo. He's, act, he's, I mean, his entire body is made out of die-cast metal. He is pretty heavy, actually. He, at first, when I got him, my mom was pretty disappointed because of the size of him. And, but then I showed her like all the accessories that he has and how heavy he is because he's pretty heavy he is, and very poseable too. Okay, holding the camera in one hand. Oh yeah, and uh, the battle fever team would drive him in the waist right there right in this little hole instead of like the chest or the head which is kinda odd now I see why they call it cockpit <laughs> oh yeah and another thing this can't fit into the battle shark because I heard of the leg armor and uh... this is actually an inch or a couple centimeters taller than the, the original battle fever robo Okay, under here is just the uh, stand sort of things, and uh, here is the stand. And if we open this, we can see all of his accessories, and uh. Yeah, I guess I could do this. Uh, okay. Just put them right there for now while I open this. I can show you the pages in this book. Okay. Bunch of Japanese writing. Battle Shark. Which you can kind of see where the inspiration for the Die Voyager came from. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, split and put this into a part 2 video. That way I'll show you all the weapons you can put onto him and all that kind of stuff. So, see you at part two.